And finally, um, Saudis and Qataris has condemned an Israeli uh, Knesset uh, attempt, or a bill actually, uh, to label UNRWA as a terrorist organization. Do you condemn this attempt by the Israeli Knesset to do that? So I am not, I was not aware of that vote. Um, obviously, we do not believe UNRWA is a terrorist organization. We, um, there were uh, members of UNRWA who, uh, uh, UNRWA provided evidence, had participated in some way in the attacks of October 7th, but that is not the, want, it, but, hold, but that is not, that is not actions by UNRWA, the body itself. So that's our general position, but I can't speak to the specific vote because sure, I'm, not, I'm to, not familiar with well, the, the specifics. I want you to um, clarify this. UNRWA has provided evidence that some members were part the yeah. Well, the so I, I should say provide, they briefed us on evidence that they found. Yeah, at the beginning of this, um, I've gone through this a few times, at the beginning of this entire issue with regard to UNRWA, um, a lot of people think it was, we took the action that we took to suspend UNRWA's funding because of something the Israeli government told us, and that's not the case. It was UNRWA that came to us and said they were aware of these allegations. They had looked into them, found evidence that certain members of UNRWA had participated in the attacks of October 7th, and so had suspended and fired for 13, 14, I don't remember the exact number now, and that's why we took the action we did. And you can update us on the uh, investigation because it's been, what, a few months now? I can't because it's not a U.S. government investigation. It's a United Nations investigation. I would refer you to them to speak to that. 